What up guys, the Bunch Buddies are back with our second video in our season predictions. And this one we'll be doing the AFC North. As always, I have Ethan joining me down below there. And you know, his favorite team, the Steelers are in this one. So I'm sure there's gonna be a biased pick, but make sure yeah, you guys maybe hit that subscribe button down below to get us to 500, where we will be doing an autograph giveaway. But we jump into it here with the Baltimore Ravens, a team 10 and seven last year. Lamar went down, wasn't the same team. Even in the playoffs, had a chance to pull off an upset, but they just couldn't do it. And then this year, I think Lamar rebounds and has not an MVP year, but a very respectable year if he stays healthy. 12-5 and five is what I have them going and making the playoffs. They lost a lot on defense, but they added Jadavion Clowney, which I think is a huge get. Ronald Darby as well. And... They definitely added to that depleted wide receiver room, getting Aguilar, Odell, and rookie Zay Flowers, who's looked like an absolute beast so far in the preseason. And, you know, this is a tough division. And who's going to win this one? I don't think it's going to be the Ravens, but I think they'll be close. Yeah, so I got the Ravens going 10-7. and seven. I really like the pickups uh, at wide receiver for the Ravens. Zay Flowers, Nelson Aguilar, Odell Beckham. Very good wide receiver room now just giving uh, Lamar some weapons. And I think he's going to do solid. It's just the AFC North is a very solid division. It's going to be cold weather, gritty football. And that's what the Ravens are all about. I have them finishing at 10 and seven, which is respectable. But as you can see, it doesn't look like they're one of my playoff teams. Going to the Bengals, we both have them going 13 and four and both making the playoffs and winning this division as well. What else is to be said about this team? Ever since Joe Joe Shiesty has taken over this franchise, they have been winners. You know, even in the year where he got hurt and was done for the year, that Bengals team, you could tell, was going to be something special with that him and Chase connection. And now they got T. Higgins they got to pay, Chase they got to pay, Burrow they got to pay. Mixon more than likely is on his way out after this year unless he takes less money. So, the Bengals have some big front office decisions after this year, but for this year, on paper, it's hard for me to believe that they aren't the best competitor in the AFC compared to the Chiefs. So, and they didn't add too much, didn't really get, lose a lot. They did lose a lot in the secondary, which could raise some questions early in the season, but I think they'll handle that coming out of their bye week. Um, but this Bengals team, you know, it's just consistent football every single year now for the last two years. Yeah, very consistent ever since Joe Burrow took over. Uh, like you said, Jamar Chase. Just the Bengals' offense has so many weapons, and Joe Burrow is uh, like like Tom Brady kind of when it comes to just the play style. But 13-4, I think they're going to be the number two seed in the AFC and a very solid season. One thing to look out for is the beginning of the year with Joe Burrow. Uh, we don't really know much about his health. Uh, Bengals are a solid team either way. I think uh, 13 and four is a solid projection for them. And I, I don't, another solid year for the Bengals and Joe Burrow. And then the Cleveland Browns, once again, we both have the same record and even the same record as last year. And I think this team is a very interesting team, just like my Packers could be one of the teams where they could finish seven and 10, maybe 11 and, and six. Who knows? It's just anywhere between there just because of the uncertainty surrounding Deshaun Watson. If this Deshaun Watson can play the 2021 Deshaun Watson, you know, I just I just think that or sorry, the 2019 Deshaun Watson, if he can play that way, the top five quarterback in the league way, then good luck for the opponents in his way, because Deshaun Watson has the weapons outside. You know, adding Elijah Moore is a big get. I think very underrated get as well. And then obviously having Nick Chubb in the backfield, very consistent off of play action. And he's been more involved in the passing game now, now that Kareem Hunt has departed the team. But I just don't see this team taking off fully yet. I think Watson, with all his guaranteed money now, is sitting on all his money, counting it up. And I think they finished seven and 10. Yeah, I'm with you on the Deshaun Watson take. Uh, I, I really think with Deshaun Watson in his like in his prime year 2019 around then uh they could win this division and compete with the Bengals all this if this if that was the case if we saw a 2019 Deshaun Watson this is going to be the best division in football without a doubt this year just because all the other talent around the division 
But I just don't see that happening, especially with all the really solid defenses the Cleveland Browns face this season. Uh, so seven and ten, and missing out on the playoffs this year, finishing last. And then your Steelers yet again. We're both having them finish with a winning season. Mike Tomlin will not have his first losing season. And I haven't gone nine and eight just like last year. And I think the last three games is what's going to determine the Steelers season. I'm not, I am saying right now they are going to lose those three, but I think when it comes down to it, it seems like the Steelers always play ugly, but somehow find ways to win those games when it matters most. So don't be surprised if they get a win in Seattle or at Baltimore at the end of the year, if they really need that win. Uh, but I just haven't missed in the playoffs just by a hair this year. I like the Allen Robinson addition. I think he could be very good in this system. Uh, same with Darnell Washington and two tight end sets with Pat Fryermuth, And then Pat Pete coming over. I think, you know, he is a veteran, but he can be the guy that, you know, they really depend on in the cornerback two position alongside Joey Porter Jr., who will more than likely could be this year's sauce if you really want to talk about it. But it's just a tough ending for me for the Steelers, and that's why I don't have them making the playoffs. Yeah, their last three weeks are very tough, but I have them beating Baltimore because they always seem, with T.J. Watt healthy and the boys back there, uh, there's not any team on the schedule they can't beat, uh, especially with the coaching. And Kenny Pickett, I think, is going to make some huge strides this year. Uh, I really do like those additions in Darnell Washington. Joey Porter, I love that draft pick. Allen Robinson, I'm not so sure about yet, but uh, I think he could be solid in the in this offense as well. Pat Pete's going to bring some veteran leadership that I think uh, all these rookie and young corners need because they lost Cam Sutton last year, who was their best cover corner. And Keanu Neal to help out uh, back there with Minka. I think those are huge picks. And George Pickens is going to win MVP. No, nah, I'm just I'm just joking. But <laughs> This but guy. I do think he's going to take some big strides, and uh, they're going to have a very solid year with Kenny Pickett. And then you can see my playoff predictions. So there's only three spots remaining, and obviously two division winners are guaranteed a spot right there. And, you know, nothing really too crazy other than my Bills pick so far. And then obviously looking at yours, Ethan. Yeah, my Bills pick is much different from yours. I have them winning the division, but we both have Bills and Jets in. Uh, and Bengals so three out of the four teams we have as the same so we'll see how if that changes up uh, but so far I got two out of my three wild card teams so only one left and we have two more divisions to cover but that's going to be it for our season predictions for the AFC North make sure you guys come back for our next video covering the AFC South as we dive into that division but until the next time the bench buddies are out see you next time